All right, so jumping into the video. Today I'm gonna be using the Morphe X James Charles palette. I'm really excited about this because I haven't really gotten the chance to play around with it. And as you can see, there's so many beautiful colors in here. And since summer and spring, warm weather's coming, I wanna do something that's a little bit more colorful. I wanna use some warm colors. I'm thinking golden, orangey, like a sunflower kind of. Do like a cut crease type look. Um, we're just gonna go with it and see what happens, but this palette is so pretty and I'm just so excited to finally get to play around and like create something really fun. Um, yeah, let's get it. Boom. All right. As you can see, I have all of my face makeup on, my brows. The only thing I'm missing is lipstick, which I do last, and obviously my eyes because that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I'm going to show you how to get this golden cut crease orange summer, don't really know what to call it, but you know, it's going to be fun. So I got my brushes. So now that we're ready to go, I'm going to start with, um, let's start with this transition shade right here. Um, I don't know the names of these because I took the little slip sheet off, so I'm just going to go with it. But I'm going to take this color right here, just dip my brush in, and I'm going to put this in the crease and just go back and forth in windshield by promotions to blend this out. And I'm going to take the color next to that, it's like a burnt orange kind of color, tap off the excess, and then go back into the crease. So now that that's kind of blended out, I'm going to go in to this orange shade, this really bright orange. I'm just going to dip my brush in, tap off the excess, and then go back into that crease. So now I'm going to take a bit of a smaller blending brush um, and I'm going to start deepening up the crease a little bit so then when we do the cut crease you can really see the contrast. Um, I'm going to dip into the shade next to the orange, it's like a red orange color, it's really pretty. I'm going to dip into that and then I'm just going to go even tighter in the crease, a little bit lower than where I've been placing the shadows. back to this fluffier blending brush and I'm going to dip back into that orange shade and just go over it up top more because I really want this to be blended out on the higher part of my lid so it'll blend better. Alright so now that the crease is kind of deepened up a little bit I'm gonna I don't want it to be too dark because we're not doing like a super dark look I'm going to start cutting the crease Doing a cut crease is easier than it looks, and the way that I do it is to take concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and then just a little flat brush, put some concealer on there, and then you just want to make the shape of your eye, you're just going to cut up and try to be as precise as possible, which I still struggle with sometimes because it's not the easiest. for this look. Um, now this is the fun part. I'm gonna dip into the white, I mean the yellow, sorry, this yellow right here. Ooh. Oh lord. Just on this little flat brush and I'm gonna put this on the center of my lid. For the middle, 
um, sorry for the inner corner I'm gonna have like an ombre effect so I'm gonna go in and take I'm gonna try this white shade it's literally just white and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner kind of blend it until the two look like they just kind of melt into each other and then I'm gonna take this little blending brush I'm gonna grab some more of that orange shade and put this in the outer corner of my eye I feel like the cut crease isn't as dark as I'd like it to be so I'm gonna go back in with that red orange shade and just darken it up a little bit take the yellow on my finger and try to make it look more prominent right there so I guess this is turning out to be more of a soft cut crease which is fine it's a little more subtle um, I don't know I'm thinking about throwing some shimmer on the inner lid I think I'm actually going to attempt, let's see, I think I'm going to take this like really light highlight shade, put that on the inner corner of my eye, oh yeah, there we go, we got some shimmer in there, go back in with that yellow, and make it a little bit more fun. So for the inner corner highlight, I was thinking maybe this reddish shade. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. I don't know if that's bright enough, honestly. Maybe if we mix... I'm going to try to mix this and this and see what that looks like on the inner corner. Just for like a pop of color, you know? Also, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the same shade that's on my lid. So pretty. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to actually do a winged liner, I think. And I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And we're just going to do a quick little wing. I'm going to do this off camera. I did my eyeliner and mascara. So now we're going to do the lower lash line. And I'm going to start this part by taking this brown NYX jumbo eye pencil. And I'm just going to put this in the waterline on the lower lash line. Alright, so now I'm going to take this little brush right here and we're gonna dip back into the palette and I look crazy right now because I only have one eye done it's fine um, we're gonna dip into this orange shade and we're gonna go right under the lash line I'm gonna go and mix these two I don't know if you can see the orange and the red Then I'm going to take the yellow on this brush and I'm going to put this closer to the inner corner. And then I'm just going to take this Lash Paradise L'Oreal Mascara, put that on the lower lashes. So now that this eye is done, I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye, but I will be right 
back. For lips, I used the Kylie Cosmetics Commando Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup video, and I hope it wasn't too hard to follow. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's really fun. I feel like a good, easy, colorful look, and it's still wearable. So yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!